everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 8 of Let's Play Secret of Mana. And, um, last time, if you recall, we had a bit of a run in with a spiky little friend. And based on the comments I got on that video, uh, apparently I'm in for the fight of my freaking life here up against the spiky tiger. And I wouldn't doubt it, especially since I got game over, even though I guess I didn't really go in there all that prepared. But now I have, um,. I've returned up to this point in Eleni's castle, up to where Nico is, and I realized that you actually can save with Nico here. I was just being dumb before. And, uh... What else did I want to say? Yeah, I want to, um... I guess I'll show off, like, everything I did here, because I did some preparations. And, um... I figured I might as well just show off what I did, because I did a bunch of stuff off-screen, and I got some level-ups, and, uh... All that crazy gobbledygook, so let's see here. It might take a while to go over, but we'll get through it. Alright, so first I'll show this off, is that, uh... All of my weapons, except for the Spike Knuckle and the Boomerang, are up to level 1 now, and the sword's up to level 2, so that's good. So that, that's just something more minuscule. Um... Uh, what, what, what do I show off here? Yeah, here's my stats for Argon, level 10. I don't, I don't know what it was last episode, but there you go. And, uh, yeah, we only have 31 GP. I spent a ton on a bunch of supplies, I'll show you that in a second. And, uh, let me see. For Sydney, her status here. She's also level 10. There's her stats. In case you wondered. Uh, and here's Edge. I didn't, I didn't, I actually pressed the wrong button. I didn't know you could change between them just like that. That's cool. Yeah, so there's Edge. For you, almost 100 HP. That's kind of nice. I know that 9 out of 10 HP. Is that MP below there? I don't even, whatever. Anyways, um... So I've shown off the levels and all that. Okay, my armor now. I went back to Guy's Naval and I bought a bunch of armor from the Dwarven shop thing. I had to rack up some money and that's basically how I, I like, kind of subsequently got some levels that I didn't intend to. Like, that's how I got up to, like, level 10 and stuff, but it's by grinding money for to get these uh, items. So I got the headgear for Argon. Uh, Sydney still has the hair ribbon. And Edge has the rabbi cap. And we all have these power wrists. I'm not sure if these are the best things I could have at this point, but they are pretty good, I think. And, uh, Edge and Argon both have spiky suits, and Sydney still has the kung fu dress, so there you go. So that's that. And, um, is that all I had to show? No, no, there's still the supplies here. So I have four candies. Uh, all these chocolates, actually, I got as drops from enemies, which was really weird. Like, all those eyeball guys in Eleni's castle, they all seem to drop this chalk. I don't know why, it was so weird. I've got, uh, four cups of wishes here, basically, like, four of it, because I could only ho hold four of anything. And I decided to be a little bit ballsy. I don't, I have no freaking clue what this barrel does, but Nico was selling it for 900 gold. So I figured I'd just take a dive in and hope that it pays off somehow. Like, I don't know, maybe this thing will save my ass against the spiky tigers. I can't imagine how a barrel will be useful, but I guess we'll find out, maybe. Alright, um, I think I'm going to equip Argon with the sword, actually. I'm just doing a little bit of weaponry reading before I go into fight. Uh, what about Sid? I think, I don't know, because a lot of people told me that, like, ranged weapons would be good against the Spiky Tiger, too, because he likes to stay on those, like, two big towers up there. So I'll th I think I'll leave uh, Edge with the boomerang and Sydney with the bow, and hope that that works out. So uh, I think that's all I need to go over. Sorry for doing all that off screen. I actually did record it all. So if any of you ever want to see, like, just the event of me leveling up or something, nothing else interesting really happened. There were just some chests with traps, and I didn't see anything new for the most part, actually, at all. So, Actually, I did see one thing. There was, like, a chest that was, like, walking around or something, but when I opened it, it wasn't any different from any other chest. So, there you go. And I think that's it. So now that all that preparation stuff is out of the way, let's go. Crap. <laughs> Let's go get hit by the freaking eyeball, douche. Yeah. I think I'm actually a little bit better at combat, too, just because all that training. Because I had to do about 45 minutes of preparation, and, well, that combined with, like, having to work all the way back up to here. And I got moogled again. Damn it. Crap. <laughs> and I was so stupid, too. Someone in the comments actually pointed out, like, even though even those people who don't know jack shit about Final Fantasy know about the moogles. But I apparently don't. I'm just too stupid. Because apparently they're really iconic or something. Poised crap. I'm going to be dead by the time I even get to this spiky tiger. 
And there seems to be a little bit of a timing that I figured out he was like blocking or something. Like I know someone said it was random or something that or it just like randomly happens, the blocking. But, uh, I don't know. Did he try to heal that guy when he was dead? That's funny. Alright, which way do I need to go? Is it up this way? I think it is. Oh, crap. I hate the, those stupid things. Like, the instant that you touch them, you just get moogled. It's so annoying. Alright, can I get unmoogled? Thank you. Mmm, jeez. I'm actually starting to do some pretty hefty damage here, if I say so myself, too. Like, even without the criticals, I can get up in the 30s and 40s, which is pretty nice. And man, these guys are dropping chests like you wouldn't believe. 34 GP, not bad. Need to start racking up some more GP after spending a ton of it on, like, Nico stuff and, uh, equips and everything. Alright. Uh, this looks like the... Yeah, but there's these two chairs in the way. Can't forget about them. For I almost forgot that they were still... That they were actually alive. The polter chair, yeah. Oh my god, 140 knot. Jeez, that's what a critical hit does now, apparently. My god. Alright, Eleni. Time to face your little pet. Phew it, noisy little children. See what you get. Yeah, yeah, shut up and just do what you gotta do to freaking... I forget what this is. Dialuck, that's his name. Jeez, can't believe I forgot that. Dialuck! Eleni, what have you done with him? What have I done? Well, I just sent him to the ruins of Pandora. Why, my magic my magic doesn't seem to work too well. I can handle it. Oh, I really shouldn't voice act this. Yeah, Thanatos. really want to see who this Thanatos guy is. He sounds really kind of ominous. Hmm. At first I thought Thanatos was a place, but apparently not. Because, yes, he's Sir Thanatos. Alright, cute little spiky. Here we go. What some people said was the hardest boss in video game history, not even in this game alone, but here goes nothing. I don't even know. Because, like, he had magic, too, and magic's, like, unavoidable, apparently, so... Oh, there he is! Okay, he just landed on me, I think. Okay, he's up. Can I hit him? You guys, I kind of need... I might... What? Oh, she got knocked out when he landed on her. Jeez. I don't even know any strategy for- I'm so screwed in this fight. I hope he doesn't take too much damage, but based on his reputation, I imagine that he would. And you guys really need to start helping me if you don't mind. No, get crap. Like, they should be able to shoot him. You know what? I'll, can, can I get out of this fleet? What the balls, dude? He, he's not stopping. I'm trying to heal. All right, thank you. Finally, get down to one health and you let me heal. I guess I'll use the chocolate. How much did that heal? Uh, if I have 250, I think it healed. I, uh, what the hell, man? Okay, can I... I'm trying to change my weapon so that I can... Argon's magic... I'm not using magic. What the hell are you... Okay, I want to change to the bow so that I can hit him while he's up there because apparently these guys are too stupid to try and do that. Even though they're the ones with the ranged weapons. Alright, come on. Let's see what you got, spiky fuck. Okay, oh! Uh, ow! Oh no, Sydney died! Okay, uh. I'm gonna revive her really quick. I'm also gonna heal Edge, because it looks like he's. Uh. gonna be dead here pretty soon if I don't. Alright. Uh, there we go. Now, where's he gonna land? Oh god! Okay. He always seems to land- he always knows exactly where to land, even when I'm, like, moving around and stuff. He, like, can predict it, just like that. Holy crap. It's like I've got a turn at the last second, right before- Like, I've got a time when he's gonna fall down. And then, like, make- do some kind of sharp turn or something- Crap. Alright, let me heal. Is everyone unconscious? Siri- Oh my god. This guy is no joke. Alright, let me try, uh... Shoot, what was it? I'm gonna, I was gonna heal Argon, that's right. Okay. Come on. Come on, guys, we're doing damage bit by bit. Little by little, we're, we're wearing this guy. He looks really cool, at least. I like the look of this boss. I think I'm gonna charge up my bow. Because, oh crap. No, Edge sees the Reaper. I didn't even pay, wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Uh. Okay. Can I please? Thank you. Man, I, it's so annoying because you have to, like, wait forever sometimes to be able to access your menu at all. 
What the hell happened there? He just like transported me and I was like unconscious. Wait, he's dead! No, what? <laughs> Honestly, for the reputation people have been giving him, that wasn't that bad. Like, yeah, that he was he was fucking annoying, <laughs> but Oh my god, way to go indeed. Yeah, buddy. Got boomerangs orb, sweet, I have to head to guy's navel and uh smelt that I guess. Oh look at this listen to this victorious music too. This is great. What happened to Eleni though? She like there she is! You're on you're mine now, bitch! What you gotta say for yourself? For what forgive you? Wait, what? Okay, uh... That doesn't make up for your nasty-ass little pet. Your, yeah, your little spiky pet. Like, what the hell was that? Alright. Oh. Well, at least that, that's nice. Okay. I guess she's magic of ice, but I don't have any more magical power left. What does she want? Okay, so we're allowed to take these. Sweet. Let's see what we got. We got... We found the whip! Oh, nice. Just another weapon we'll have to level up, I, I assume. And... Found 50 GP. Not bad. So what was she saying? She said something about the magic of ice. I kind of wanted to figure out about that. Like, can I learn magic yet? Allow me to send you outside. Uh... Yeah, I guess. Why not? Alright, sweet. So are all the monsters, like, gone from now here? Dalek is alive! Yeah, we have just have to go find him at the Kingdom of Pandora. Well, to the water pallet. Was that Luca? It is. Oh my god. Now what's the matter? I'm going too. I'm worried about Dalek, but I can't save him alone. I'll go with you. Oh, that's sweet. She's starting to learn a little bit of compromise instead of being so hard-headed. And Edge is going to come along too, just because he's got nowhere else to go, I guess. Sweet. Well, I'm glad to have that out of the way. That freaking spiky tiger, whatever he was. God, that was annoying. That was actually fun. I didn't even get a chance to use my barrel, man. I don't even know what that does yet. Oh, well. Mm. I kind of want to go fight that guy again. Like, I wonder if there's, like, anyone in the world who's, like, fought him without losing any health. That would be kind of cool to see. I don't see how you could, though, because you can't avoid that magic. Unless, like, you can, and I was just... Or, unless, I guess they could, like, level up, like, really high or something. And then freaking, uh... I don't even know. Oh, I'm gonna have to change my weapons here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh. I guess I'll get the axe back out. And I'll give Sydney the bow again. Because I want her to be using that so it levels up. Oh, uh, because the sword is already level 2, so we don't want. Actually, I'll give her the whip. Hell yeah. Let's figure out about that. Alright, so what do we have on our agenda now? We gotta work our way to this forest. There's actually a few areas in this forest that I kinda want to check out, though. Cause, like, I saw some staircases on the way back here that I know it didn't go up before. So, maybe I'll have to check that. Man. Oh, boy. So, I'm not sure how good that whip is. I assume a whip would be pretty good, though. Hmm. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to just, to like, because, like, you have all saw me get there in the, or go to Eleni's castle last time, so, like, is there really any point showing the back trip out of this forest? I don't know. I think, I, I just wanted to check out this one thing. I think it's over around this corner, just up here. There's, like, a staircase or something, and I, I don't even know. Yeah, it's this place. I think this is the only way that I didn't really go that looked kind of interesting. Dude, this guy is not having it. There we go. Alright. Yes, what was I saying? What's on our... Okay, there is nothing up here, apparently. Just some weird pole. I don't know. It looks almost like an area, like... Maybe we'll get to cross over there at some point. I don't know if we, like, hit a certain switch. It's kind of what it reminds me of, because it looks, like, similar to that one. Yeah. Isn't this the area that, like, I came to before, like, way before, and I had no idea what was going on, it, and I just, like, moved on, because I couldn't go anywhere from where I warped to? I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think that's what this place is. Oh, well. Alright, so what's on my agenda, like I've been trying to say? 
Uh, we gotta go to the water palace. That's some apparently something important's going down there. We also have to go, um, after that we're gonna have to go see about Dialuck, I guess. And before we do any of that, I guess we're gonna have to go ahead and figure out... Uh, no, not, not figure out, we're gonna have to go back to Guy's Naval and get the Boomerang Orb infused. And Sydney reached level 11, too. It's funny how Sydney's like my highest level now. I don't know how that happened. Oh, oh damn it, I missed that chest. I was, uh, it, can't, it couldn't have been anything too important, right? Right. Uh, is Nico still here? He's not. Okay, I kind of wanted to save, but I guess that's not going to happen for a little while yet. That's okay, though. Alright, man. <laughs> Everyone gets stuck in these stupid walls trying to get out of here. Chobin's, Chobin Hood gets whacked. Is that the Chobin of Chobin's bow? I guess so. Whatever. Man, I've got to be racking up some good experience and GP at least from killing all these from killing all these guys. Man, you would taunt. Can I can I still reach that somehow, some way? Please, please. Fine, be that way. I don't know. Maybe I could use like the boomerang to take it back to me or something. But who knows? Who knows? Who cares? All right, man. I said I was gonna cut probably cut out some of that trip back, and I ended up just talking all the way through it. I might still cut it out, but we'll see. For now, though, I think I need to head down to Guy's Naval. And it's a little bit of a trek to get down there, so I think I'll just meet you guys there. Oh, hey, it's reached level 10. Nice, might as well just show that. Alright, guys, we're back in this uh, smithy's place. So let's see if we can get that boomerang smithed, or smelted, or whatever it is. Uh, Yeah, the boomerang, this is the one. 200 GP, no problemo. Let's forge it. Nice. So now it's even more powerful. Sweet. Uh, what am I up to? I'm up to like 18 minutes. I'm gonna cut some of that out, but I don't know. I think I, I think I'm just gonna call that a video. Just give the spiky tiger his own sort of video. Cause he is. No one can doubt that he is like the main thing of this video, the focal point, if you will. So I guess we'll just end it off on that. Next time, uh, I'll go back to the Water Palace, I guess. If there's any, like, really fast way there, could you guys let me know about it? Because I can't really think, like, I don't know, it just seems like a long trek to get back there. But if that's the only way, I'll have to do it, I guess. Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed. So thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you and good night.